What's up guys and welcome back to another Black Ops 6 Zombies video. After the Xbox showcase wrapped up just a few short weeks ago, there was a secret panel that involved a lot of creators and developers for the games that were showcased at the Xbox showcase. And one of those developers being interviewed would be none other than Kevin Drew himself. I went ahead and put together all the clips of Kevin Drew talking about Black Ops 6 Zombies as well as putting little Easter eggs and teasers in there for you guys as well. After this interview is over, we're gonna go ahead and break down everything that we learned from it and let's go ahead and watch it i think there's different answers for uh, each part of the game right we have campaign we have multiplayer and we have zombies and i can speak for zombies when i say it's a mode that actually started as a, an easter egg back in world of war right and, and it has grown over the years um and initially it was kind of like the wild west so like every time we would make a new zombies game we would just try new things that we thought was cool right but over the years by Black Ops 3, certain things we realize are very important and we kind of established the DNA of zombies. It's a lot of um, different uh, like perks and pack-a-punch and really cool maps and hidden quests and all sorts of things. And we realize those certain things are very kind of sacred and we need to like keep those and, and iterate on them and make them better, but then always pushing ourselves to do new things because that's like at the heart of this mode, it's almost like counterculture to COD where it's like we get to put things in that you would never see in or think that would be in Call of Duty. Stuff you just not expect. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking thereof, like we got a really good look at how you guys are actively developing the game. How is the what your your tech that you're using impacted a lot of that, especially in like player movement and the different things that people are able to do mid combat? Yeah. Please do the thing. I think um, that's that's the highlight, the Omni movement. I, it you all saw it today. It's like revolutionary and how you play the game um it just fundamentally changes how you move and it kind of removes this artificial construct of like you know in real life you can sprint backwards you can sprint to the side like professional athletes do this all the time so once we kind of ungated that or realized we could do that and we made this massive endeavor it's changed everything right like how you play multiplayer is different. How you play zombies is going to be different. Like the ability to, you know, Retreat. sprint backwards while Retreat you've got a horde of zombies from... coming at you is very different than MP, where you're taking advantage of other things like supine and all those things. So, look for us less skilled people being able to run away from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I really you still got to watch behind We're you. We're thinking though. about <laughs> that. I appreciate it. both of these games have very committed audience. I, I, I know that's the understatement of the year, but. How do you take those audiences into consideration for a lot of folks? Like they've been looking for these installments for a minute. I know people have been checking for gears for a minute and, and people have been looking for the new car for a minute. How do you deal with a lot of that fan expectancy that, that, Hey, you know what your people are kind of hoping for. How do we address that? Especially when coming into a new chapter, I think it's very similar for a lot of the stuff I saw yeah. in the blops as uh, direct, like, you know, when you were saying uh, earlier about the pandemic, right? We, there was challenges with that in the last game we made we had to make yeah. concessions and you know there were thir certain things that we wanted to bring um to zombies that we couldn't and now this has been the opportunity here to fully realize and make yeah. what we think will be the best version of it yeah. and one of the big things is bringing back uh, a set crew like this idea that yeah. who you play as in the story matters a lot and you're, you're growing with them as you progress through the cinematics and just the moment to moment gameplay, which you now you have these emergent moments. And when you have the characters actually have personality and interact with each other, that's yeah. huge, right? Yeah. Nice. If, when you got to zombies, it was uh, sometimes our personal touches are accidental. Um, when I started, we were working on Black Ops 2, we were like a new team working on it and we quite hadn't or hadn't quite caught up with all of the, the rules yet. And so when we were determining the eye color for Mob of the Dead, um, a producer got asked, like, what color to make them? And he's just like, I don't know, red. And then Q2, like, we, we released the trailer and the community is like, what is this third faction? What do the red eyes mean? And we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was like the way accident. Up. Intentional. Um, yes. Yeah, totally. It worked out. Um, but I think in recent years, not, not I've been um, directing the, the gameplay, the de design systems, it's really about I want to bring zombies to more people. And so um, approachability has been a, a key part for me to put in the game. So just really like raising the floor. A lot of people, it's, it's a very challenging mode. And so when people uh, try for the first time, they might survive for two minutes. And it's like, 
once you get in there and you experience like the higher rounds, it's a, it's so much fun. So we want to just make sure that more people can do that. One day I'm gonna get to those higher rounds. You're gonna do this it. This is the year. This 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 is, this is my time. This game we got all sorts of stuff for you. <laughs> that's gonna help you. With it. Um, we left you like on a huge cliffhanger. So basically, Cold War was building up a lot of beats. Um, we at the end, like we kind of just did a, a huge 180. The director ended up being Edward Richtofen, who is a long stay zombies character. He betrays your entire squad. He sends them off of prison for five years. And we're here now in the in the early 90s picking up the pieces. So these the crew has have been in prison for five years. They've been just you know, Sarah Connoring, uh, basically just doing a lot of push-ups and just went ready for revenge. <laughs> ready to roll. <laughs> and on the Treyarch side of the house, baby, what you got? What, should we, what are we leaving the people with? I think the same thing where it's like, I've been waiting like literally years to just say round base zombies is <laughs> going to be a yes. Black Ops 6. Yes. Um, and, you know, I think we're, we've set out to make the best version of it. So I think I'm just, the entire team's very passionate about the mode and we're doing, we're bringing things back from the past, like gobble gums, um, and among other things. And I think we're going to really make something special here. And, and we hope everyone enjoys it. So one of the first things I want to touch on was that Cold War Zombies was supposed to have a set crew, but because of COVID-19, that was just not possible. And it was not in the time frame. But just imagine what could have happened in Cold War and how much different the dialogue and the story could have been if they were to have had a set crew in Cold War. Now, one of the things about about Black Ops 6 Zombies that he mentioned is that it may be harder than you think. It may not be so easy to get to those high rounds anymore. Not saying that they're easy to begin with, but it just seems like he's saying that it's going to be harder than you think. In the interview, he discussed that you might die in the beginning of the game multiple times, but if you reach those high rounds, it feels pretty awesome. It feels rewarding. Now, if you're not very skilled at Zombies, that's okay because they will have things that can help you reach those high rounds, but it does seem like Kevin Drew wants zombies to reach more people in a more broader audience. And he just wants to bring more people to zombies and show them the experience. But he's also trying to balance out the hardcore zombie players. And it seems like he's trying to do just that with this game. He also mentioned that this year is a game that they can do everything they wanted to do in Black Ops Cold War and put it into Black Ops 6. Because of COVID, they couldn't do everything they wanted to do for Black Ops Cold War. And with Black Ops 6, he confirmed that they are doing everything that they want and putting it into Black Ops 6 Zombies and saying that this is going to be the ultimate Zombies experience yet. And a cool little Easter egg to leave you guys with here is that Mob of the Dead, when it was being made, there was red eyes on the zombies, which had a big stir in the community about, okay, why is there red eyes? Why are they not blue? Why are they not yellow? And it turns out that the red eyes didn't really mean anything. One of the producers was asked what color the eyes should be from Mob of the Dead Zombies, and he just randomly put out the word red and that's why they're red so that's a cool little easter egg that has been unsolved for multiple years until now to stay up to date with everything black ops 6 zombies make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on the video and i will catch you guys in the next one see ya